What is up, you guys? This is your boy Andy Matrix. I talk about anime, manga, video games, geek culture, and Japanese culture. And I have a quick video for you guys today, a quick video. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, like this video, and I'm on a journey to get 1,000 subscribers. I very much appreciate your help. Okay, so Ray Rodriguez, he is basically the executive producer of High Guardian Spice. And he had he had a <clears throat> he had a thing or two to say about High Guardian Spice. And um so let's go ahead and read it. Let's go ahead and read his magical comments. <laughs> right? So one of the one of the things that he said that I think is hilarious. So he says, what does budget have to do with writing? Writers are paid employees. Small budget equals less time to write, less time to correct notes, less time to plan ahead. This is in response to people saying budget has nothing to do with writing. Um, yes, they are absolutely right. <clears throat> they are absolutely right. And I'll tell you why. Okay. He's saying that the anime, the uh, anime, I shouldn't even call this an anime. Hard Guardian Spice is not a fucking anime. Okay, it's an attempt. It's, a, it's an American attempt at anime. And Crunchyroll promoted it as being a freaking anime, which is not. Okay. So you had a low budget. Guess what? That does not affect writing. Okay. Writing is about dialogue. Writing is about plot. Okay, the plot, you know, the, the story, um, you know, world building, yeah, that, that, that's, that's what writing is, you know, how, you know, how do you, you know, the voice of the, giving the characters a voice, personality, um, writing is, you know, and the, the, the dialogue that you choose to write, okay, the writing of this show is fucking crappy. You know, forget about forget about the uh, the audio. The I mean, the audio for certain characters. What's it? What's his name? Slime boy, the fucking slime boy. Man, his audio. I I don't know. Did, did, did the voice actor have like the worst mic in the freaking studio? But forget about the microphones. The lines, like the dialogue, is just <laughs> like most of the time. It's just not funny. It's like they're trying to be funny. It seems as though they don't know how to write comedy. So no, budget does not, that has nothing to do with writing. Writing has to do with skill. Just because, you, you know, there's big budget movies with shitty writing. <clears throat> you know, like Eternals failed for a freaking reason. Marvel's Eternals failed. Here's another one. High Guardian Spice had a very small budget. We were the first show of a, of a non-union stu non studio. If you're mad at the animation quality, it, it was the budget. Okay, BG art, big budget art, budget writing, budget. We literally started storyboarding the first episode before the first script was finished. Okay, so this here is one of the reasons why the American comic book industry is going down the drain. Basically, creators arguing with, with the fans. This is a really bad idea. I mean, this is this is a really, really bad idea. Never, ever, ever argue with the fans. Okay? The customer is always right. We are the consumers. We are the consumers. Therefore, we have the right to say whatever the hell we want about the show. Okay? If I write a novel and people hate the novel, I should listen to the people. There's a reason why they hate it. You know? And as far as like the work required to make it to make a, a cartoon or an anime, everybody knows the process is difficult, but we don't care about the process. We want the end result. Take a look at the Apple iPhone. Nobody cares about what it takes to make an iPhone. We just want to we just want the end product. OK, when you are a creator, that's how you have to see it. <clears throat> Focus on creating a good end product and stop arguing with people on the Internet. Okay. I mean, it, it shows right here. It says, if you are mad at the animation quality, you know, years ago, years ago, you would never hear about creators arguing with, 
you know, with um, with, with the fans, with the viewers. And it was better that way because then, you know, we would just watch a show and if it sucked, we just put it away and ne never touch it again. Right? And because the studio will lose money, they'll they'll try to make something better the next time. It says and and then he says and also another timeline maybe High Guardian Spice wouldn't have been roped into the into culture wars from his first trailer marked by marked as bad year years before it came out. But at last, this is the timeline we're in, and all I can do is shout about it on Twitter, which you should not be doing, which is why I'm making a video about you, Ray Rodriguez. The culture war. You know, Higher Guardian Spice was actually supposed to come out in tw in 2019. I think it was 2019, right? But then it was held back because of the backlash. I mean, there's a lot of evidence that it was held back because of the backlash. Right, because this show was promoted as, oh well, this show was made by an all-female team. Nobody gives a fuck. Okay, I mean, and then, and then when it came out, says Crunchyroll's newest anime. No, it's not a freaking anime. Stop calling it that. Gets review bombed by anti-LGBT trolls. Anti-LGBT? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Anti-LGBT? Are you serious? This is and, and that's the problem. They always come up with some freaking excuse. Oh, is the uh, is the anti LGBT haters? Is the right wing people? Yeah, 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 yeah. They hate the fans. They don't like the viewers. They they don't like you. They hate you. So stop giving money to people who hate you. I did a review of High Guardian Spice, and I I made, I made fun of that shit. It was fucking hilarious. Okay. Is that instead of piling on the High Guardian Spices trash campaign, maybe think about what what happened behind the scenes. No, we don't have to. We don't have to think about what happens behind the scenes. We don't. We don't have to. Okay, when Microsoft or Xbox or PlayStation or App or Apple, when they're making a product or a new game or anything, we do not think about the the process. We think about the end result, and that's what you should be focusing on. Okay, when Square Enix is making a new Final Fantasy game, they're focused on making it really good and high quality for the consumers to buy. Consumers are not concerned with the process. We only we only care about the end result. No, we do not have to care. We do not have to think about what's behind the scenes. Okay? It says, have empathy for real human beings who did their best working on it and think critically about who started the hate campaign. <sighs> wow. <laughs> you know, the internet has an advantage and it has a disadvantage. Uh, I mean, for the creators, the, in, in, now we see what a, what a fucking shitty person you are. You know, what a whiny little shit you are. And then next time you come up with something, we can be like, eh, yeah, it, it was created by Ray Rodriguez. We don't have to. We don't have to. Okay. So this is the kind of people that work on the show. And look, High Guardian Spice, it was it was marketed, okay? It was marketed as an anime. On Crunchyroll, Crunchyroll is supposed to be all anime. But clearly, clearly, this not only does this show not look like anime, it looks it looks like what's that? What's that um that show on Crunchyroll Network Totally Spies? Yeah, it looks like Totally Spies, which is supposed to be inspired by anime, but it's not. <clears throat> Okay, it is not Avatar The Last Airbender quality. This sh this fucking show sucks. All right, this fucking show sucks. All right, if it had been on Cartoon Network, this show would have not gotten as much backlash as it as it did. But because it was on Crunchyroll, and anime fans know when they see an anime, this show got fucking trashed to hell as it should. Okay, this is America's attempt at anime, and it freaking sucks. This is not Avatar The Last Airbender, which was freaking high quality in, in an amazing show. This was trash. The story is garbage, you know. And they even tried to copy Sailor Moon Transformation. Sucked. It, 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 you know, the dialogue, everything. The comedy sucked, dude. Sucked. Anyways, that is all I have to say about High Guardian Spice. And <laughs> the creator saying, oh, it was because of the budget. Nice excuse, buddy. 
Fuck you. This is Andy Matrix. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, like this video, and comment below. I'll see you guys in the next video. God speed.